You're being asked about the reaction between sodium metal and oxygen gas. Well, sodium is a metal, and I know that because it comes from the left side of the periodic table. And oxygen is a non-metal. I know that because it comes from the right side of the periodic table. Generally, when a metal and a non-metal combine, they form an ionic compound. It's useful to know what charge each of them wants because sodium's in the first column, it wants a charge of plus one because it wants to have lost one electron. Oxygen is two electrons short of having a full octet, so it wants a charge of minus two. Now, the answer your teacher wants to hear is that sodium plus oxygen will make the ionic compound between the two, which is Na2O. Notice I crisscross the charges here. I need two of the Na's to cancel charge with one of the O's. Now, the actual truth is a little bit messier. When you react sodium with oxygen, you end up with only about 80% of it becoming sodium oxide. The rest actually reacts to make sodium peroxide, Na2O2. Now this will break apart to give you sodium oxide if you go beyond, I think, 657 Celsius. But if you gave this as an answer to your teacher and got marked wrong, you might be able to argue that it is one of the products that get made. It's one of the minor products, but it does get made in this reaction. So sodium plus oxygen makes sodium oxide, a typical synthesis reaction that makes an ionic compound Sodium peroxide is also made. That's the way it goes. Best of luck.